Hey, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another tutorial. And today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you all how to make what you see on the screen. So let's just screen to it. And basically, what this is, it's just like a Fortnite backsplash effect with like the glow and everything. So if you enjoyed the video or it helped you out, make sure you like and subscribe. And like I said, let's just screen to it. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is go into Photoshop. And as you can see, this is already an example of right here. And what I'm going to be showing is just this, like this whole effect over here. And you can do the rest of the band by yourself. But I'm just going to be showing that. So go to File. And then you want to go to new and the size is up to you you can do 1500 by 500 that would be a header size or you can do 1546 by 423 and this is a banner size right here so once you get it i'm just going to file open and i'm going to go to my downloads and i'm bringing my screenshots so these are the screenshots i have right here i'm just bring them in and you can hit control c on this one and i'm gonna put the pack with the screenshots in the description also so just bring them in resize them and i'm gonna do all that and once I resize them and everything, I'm gonna show you what to do afterwards. And you just um, pull on the sides to kind of resize it. All right, so once you get the screenshots in, you can hold control and then click on another layer while you already have the first one. And you can kind of hold shift on your keyboard and move it around to get to the correct position you want. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna go get a background and I'm gonna just get it from the pack I have over here. And like I said, I'm gonna put this in the description, but I'm gonna find one and I'm gonna be better child when I get one. All right, so now that I found my background, just come in here and go to file open and you can just bring it in with every one you pick. And I'm gonna pick this one. This is the one I used on the first one. So I'm gonna just hit control C, come over here and then hit control V. And once I do that, just click on the size, I'm gonna resize it. And you can just resize it to whatever size you want really. So after we do this, go up here and you wanna click brightness and contrast and then um, make a little clipping mask by clicking that. And you wanna up the brightness on this screenshot and just make sure you up the brightness on them and up the brightness on this screenshot also. After you do this, go down here and go to soft light on that layer, create a new layer Put this below, hit G on your keyboard to go to the paint bucket tool and right click it to make sure you're on that. And now you wanna go over here and just pick a color, but I'm gonna pick the color black right now so I can put it back here and get like the black background. Now I'm gonna go above here and get another color. All right, so I already have my color, but let's say for instance you don't. To get the color, you just go over here and then hold, um, well really you don't have to hold out, just go to the color picker and pick whichever one you want. And then you will hit okay but i'm gonna pick the one i already have and yeah so now that i've got the one i have or whatever just go over here and go to your brush settings and just pick this and you can have the same settings like that so it'd be on keyboard be on your keyboard and then go to the brackets and make the brackets bigger and go back here and just start um kind of placing around with the color you got so it should look something like this when you do it and then you want to create a new layer and you can go across with it also but right now you really don't have to do all that right now you just focus on that background so you come up here and put it around the whole screen kind of and then just put this on color and yeah you can mess with the opacity on that also all right so now that you have this on color you want to go up here create a new layer and just select the color black on one and you want to kind of go around it with the color black so I'm gonna do something kind of like this. And I'm just tapping on the edge with it. Like that. And you can do something up here. And yeah, just basically do that. Or you can do soft light with the color black. As you can see, it still makes a difference. Or you can do normal. It's really up to you. I'm gonna just do soft light right now. You can go back here, do the same thing. You just wanna tap around with the color black. And then once you get it, you can do soft light and it should look something like that. Next thing you want to do after this, create a new layer, go up here, hold alt and then click that color and hold alt and click the color and basically just click the color surrounding it on um, characters or whatever. Then you want to go to screen and you can just load opacity after going to screen on it. Now down here, I'm going to go add a mask to this, hit be on my keyboard and make it bigger with the brackets and I'm going to just kind of shade it in because I only want to show y'all how to do this little glow effect like over here all right so after that you want to create a new layer and then go to the color white over in the color picker which and then go to the brush and just like place it back there then you can go to overlay 
and you can mess with the opacity on overlay for the background. Next thing you want to do is create a new layer at the very top, hit B on your keyboard, and then pick the color black. And you just want to go around with the color like so. And when I do my banners, I do it on a whole image like that. But for this, you can do normal and lower the opacity, or you can do soft light, and then you can like add a mask to it, hit B on your keyboard, and you can kind of make some of it go away with like the mask so you can see the difference with it. But yeah, basically just something like that. All right, so next thing you can do is create a new layer, hold Alt, and then like get that color right there, and you can kind of put it like on the um, image. And I just held Alt, click the color, and then kind of put it on this image. So you can do that, and you can pick linear dodge, screen, basically any of that. Just put it on here, and you can lower the opacity or put it up to how much you want. And you can go down here and do the same thing on like these images below. So you can do something like this come on the sides and stuff and you can really take your time but I'm just trying to show you how to do it so you kind of do something like this and then you go to screen or linear dodge lower your opacity a little bit but still to where you can see it and it should look something like that and then you can hit control S to save your work if you want to save it right now so just go back over here mess with the brightness a little bit you can put it up a little bit more take it down but just make sure you got the brightness how you want it and make sure the image is bright. Now what I do is go down here, go to brightness and contrast, and I hold the brightness on the background a little bit. And you can go up here and mess with the contrast a little also. And that's just if you want to. But that's pretty much how you do the effect. Now last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to just go over here again and kind of hold Alt and then click that color and do that little color thing again. And just go to screen once more. And probably have a, a up a little bit more on this one. So now that you're pretty much done with the effect, what you want to do is start from the top layer, go all the way down, hold shift, and click the bottom layer. You want to group everything, then hit control J, and then hit control E, and take the um, go up here, hit M on your keyboard to go to the marquee tool, and just drag it across the whole image. Now you want to hit control J, control J, and right click and convert to a smart object. So after this, next thing I do is go to Camera Raw Filter, and I'm going to show you what I do on here. All right, so on here, it's a lot of stuff you can mess with, but mostly I do texture. And, yeah, you can mess with, like, a lot of stuff. You can mess with these effects. Now, I wouldn't really do that too much, but um, I'm just trying to show you how, like, some of the different stuff you can mess with. But the main thing I would do is probably mess with texture. You can mess with the clarity if you like that type of stuff. And yeah, basically just all this. Now I have um, presets on here too, also. So like sometimes I choose presets. If you want to look for the preset pad and this is the number I'm pick, just let me know so I can send it to you and you can purchase it. But this is it. So next thing I would do is go to filter topaz lab and I just show like all of these effects and stuff in my last video if you want to go look at it. So you can go to this, go to mild details and mess with the screen and apply and then hit okay. Then after this you go to magic bullet looks and I like to go to magic bullet before I just happen to um, go to topaz that time But these are my settings in here and you just add this And then once you add everything you want to click finish after hit control J Go to filter blur Then you want to go to Gaussian blur and you can do lighter color And kind of load it to like right there load up past it right there after that create a new layer and we're gonna do a little glow effect so i hold alt click color and then click again like to actually put it hold alt click color click again and you can just do that around the whole image i got my little keyboard up there after you do it on the whole image just go to screen once more and it should look something like that and you could really can just make like a profile picture out of that if you want to but that's pretty much how you do the glow effect if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like subscribe because it would be much appreciated put in by dragon peace out